How to Read a Floor Plan by Architect Silveta. About the Presenter I am Joanne Zoeta, an architect. I am a licensed architect in Canada for over 10 years now. Prior to that, I was a licensed architect in the Philippines. Here is a certificate of licensure in Alberta. So shown here on the right side is my LEED certificate. It's uh, my LEED accredited professional certificate. And on the left side is my certificate as an architect in Alberta. Rationale. Why is it important for you to learn this material? If you are involved in any type of building or construction, it is essential that you have the ability to interpret information shown on the floor plan. Anyone involved in the industry or trying to do their own renovation should be able to read floor plans. Learning objectives. Number one, identify a floor plan and obtain specific information found on the floor plan. Understand the symbols and notations commonly used in floor plans. And lastly, read dimensions. Objective one. Identify a floor plan and obtain specific information found on the floor plan. What is a floor plan? A floor plan is a two-dimensional drawing. It is a top view of a building taken from a horizontal plane five feet from the floor. So please take a look at this right drawing, which is the front of the building, and the red arrow and the red line represents the horizontal plane, which you would take five feet from the floor. So on the main floor, five feet from the floor. On the second floor, five feet also from the second floor level. So when you cut the horizontal plane five feet from the floor and you look down below, it will give you the floor plan. That top view will give you the floor plan. So this is a slide that will show you the front of the house and the floor plan that corresponds to it. So on the right side is the front view of the house and you've got the red line and the red arrow showing you where the horizontal plane is. So when you cut that horizontal plane across the front of the house, what you have on your left side would be your main floor plan. So this, the front of the house and the main floor plan should correspond to each other. This slide will show you the second floor plan. On the left side of this slide is the front view of the house. It is the same front view as on the previous slide. So we're using the same building or the same house. And on the left side of this slide, you would see the second floor plan. So what happens here is that on the second floor level, you will have a horizontal plane that's taken five feet from the second floor level. So when you cut that horizontal plane five feet from the second floor level and you look down below, that would be your second floor plan. So as you can see on the left side of the building, you can see some rooms and the stairs and the doors and that will be all located on the second floor. Objective 2. Understand the symbols and notations commonly used in floor plans. First is a symbol for a door. Next is a symbol for a window. The two double lines represent a symbol for a wall. 
this is a symbol for the toilet. The circular figure is a symbol for a lab or a lavatory, and this is used also in toilets. And the, the last symbol is a symbol for a sink, which you can use or is seen normally in kitchens. So on the right side of the slide, you can see a floor plan, and I have identified some of the features for you to be able to read the floor plan. So this highlighted below is the symbol for the stairs. And you can also see here the symbol for a wall. There is a symbol for the window. And then there is a symbol for the door. So what do you have in this floor plan? You have the entry door on the right side of the floor plan. You have a window on the left side of the floor plan, and this is what you call a bay window. And there is a wall, right? The two double lines just means a wall. And then you have the stairs. So the stairs in this floor plan is on the right side of the plan and from the door you can go right up to the stairs to the second floor. There's a bedroom on the left side with its own door, the dining at the rear of the floor plan and you've got a washroom which is, has a toilet and a shower and a lavatory and it's got its own door as well, two foot by eight door. There is a kitchen behind the dining and here you can see the double, um, a double sink. And on the rear of this house is a door that swings in. And there's also stairs or steps going down. So this is the second floor plan and on, so we'll start from the bottom of the floor plan. If you would look at the bottom of the second floor, you would see the window, which is a bay window. If you go further down on the top, you would be able to see the stairs. And the stairs says that uh, from this end, you can go down to the main floor. On the left side of the floor plan, you can see the wall. This is the wall of the bedroom number two. And here is the symbol for a door. And this is the door that leads to your washroom on the second floor. So you've got the toilet, a lavatory, and actually at, at the end right there is a symbol for a uh, tub. So this is the second floor plan. Objective 3. Read dimensions. Right now we're using imperial dimensions. For example, 4 foot and 1 inch. The single apostrophe means feet. The double apostrophe means inch. So what we have here is an enlarged plan. The lot is 30 feet wide. So as you can see here, it's 30 feet and 0 inches, and you have to check where the dimension line is aligned to. So for this one, it is aligned on the property line, and you can read it from left to right. So this dimension line, the tag, is putting the property line on the left side, 
and it's also hitting the property line on the right side. The house is 22 feet wide and it's 22 feet wide. The dimension line on the left side is aligned to the wall on the left side and the dimension line on the right side is aligned to the right side of the wall. So this is a 22 foot wide house and a 30 foot wide lot. So here is another enlarged plan of a washroom where we could practice reading dimensions. So it's six and two and a half inch wide, the washroom, and as you can see, the dimension line is aligned to the right to the left side of the wall, and it is also aligned to the right side of the wall. And the washroom is eleven foot and nine and one eight inches long, and the dimension line is aligned to the top side of the wall and to the bottom side of the wall. In summary, in reading the floor plan, you should be, be able to identify a floor plan, read the floor plan by knowing the symbols, and understand the dimensions shown in the floor plan. I hope this presentation helps you understand the basics in reading a floor plan. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at info at Thank you and have a good day. Bye.